much work into the community um, improvement project, that type of stuff. So you need to figure it out, okay? So um, our guideline is number one is the operating expenses, which is paying for your facilities, your phone, um, copies, making copies, um, refreshments for your meetings. Uh, number two is the outreach activities. It's very important for the neighbor councils to always outreach to the community to let them know what's going on with the neighbor council, what's going on with City Hall, and what's going on within the community. You need to engage your stakeholders to come to your meetings and to participate. Uh, number three is the neighborhood improvement projects. Uh, it can be repeating paint out, it can be a community uh, cleanup, it can be um, planting trees, uh, planting flowers, okay? Neighbor purpose grants um, are only allowed for 501c3 nonprofit organizations and public schools. And five, we added to number five, which is the elections of related expenses. So you all will be having elections um, sometime in May through June, I believe. And so you will need to allocate X amount of funds for outreach for your, for your elections. The neighbor council budget must be provided in a standardized format using the template provided by the departments with the following categories, 100 operations, 200 outreach, 300 community improvement projects, 400 neighborhood purpose grants, and 500 elections. Neighbor council is required to submit a board approved budget uh, each fiscal year, and they're usually due by the end of July, July 30th, uh, with the approved minutes showing that the neighbor council did approve, the entire board did approve the uh, budget, and it needs to show the board action date and the vote count. We are beginning July 1st, past July 1st, we have this uh, board vote count form that we are requesting the neighbor council to use now. Um, we will list all the board members and how they vote. Yay, no, abstain, recuse, absent, and it will tell you. This is before they submit with every funding request and with every uh, funding uh, reports. Uh, you can do this online. It's going to be very easy because your neighbors, your board members will already be on that list and you can just vote. And once that vote has finished, it can be cleared for the name of your name.
funding requests. All funding requests must be approved by the entire board and identical under one of the approved budget categories. All requests to the board for funding must be made on a standardized form. So that is the funding request form. Whoever is coming to the board, to the neighborhood council for funds, they must complete that form. And once the treasurer receives that form, you also must receive all the required documentation.
it seems if we were to fund something under the MPG category, we, uh, we wouldn't fall under that requirement that it's allowed because sometimes we provide to the nonprofit uh, or any other entities and there is no direct service. I'm sorry, I can't hear I'm just saying under the category MPG, it's an able purposes grant. Right, that's correct. If we allow funding for that, we have given funds to nonprofits, and there are times where there's no direct service we provide in return to the neighborhood council. Right, when you're giving a grant to the, to the schools or nonprofits, it's not for services provided. It's a grant for their use to better their, your community. I think it's referring to like a parade. Right, no, but I'm just saying there has to be an, a, a, there's it's a difference not, between okay, the two. Okay, there's no parade. There's no parade. There's no parade. You asked a question, Madam President.
of paperwork. Mm. Yeah, right? I mean, you, you have more paperwork. More paperwork. And that's, you, so that's fun, right? Yeah. Now, the, the thing that got to me too here is the second person, the person holding the card, is the one responsible for giving me the paperwork. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, what? I mean, we have such a hard time just getting somebody to be a treasurer. How are we going to get that second person to be doing all the paperwork? I mean, that's even where the whole thing falls apart. It's going to be decided between the treasurer and the second signer, okay? They're going to have to work together to make get these reports together. But what if, the, what if nobody wants to be a report manager? What happens then? You're in trouble. Then it's failed. <laughs> it failed. You're in trouble. You know, the leader council is not happening now. I mean, you can't, uh, it, says, it says according to what the training is. The it's neighbor a, it's council. the neighbor council is supposed to get it together, not just the president, right? The neighbor, right. The neighbor council, if, if the board is not able to help prepare the paperwork, the neighbor council is able to hire a temp, a person from the temp agency, Apple One, to, you know, from a county, to help prepare the paperwork for you. But this person cannot issue payments to the vendors, but they can help prepare the, the paperwork, the reports. Okay. So who, okay, let's say, for instance, that we're doing. Go and get a temp, but we still have to have that second second signature, the person holding right. the card, right? Right. So, I, I mean, theoretically, let's say I want to be the second signature, I can hold the card, and be sure nobody that I won't lose it because you guys in charge of it. Right. Then I can just say, okay, we'll just do all the paperwork. The paperwork's done, and that's it. We'll go ahead and get it. Is that is that right? That's right, but it's, it's a requirement that the department have to have two. No, I understand. I'm just trying to make sure because I can see how hard it was to get a treasure. Now to get the second person, because that to me is where this whole thing fell apart. The person that was supposed to do the paperwork. We were, we were laying the treasure, but that's not the treasurer's job. We're allowed to have three signatures, what, not just two. When did that process of the two people start? July 1st, right? September, no, September well, 1st, okay. right? Okay. However, the check income has been delayed, it's not in play as right. yet. We still don't have a date as to when the neighbor the check income program will start. But we wanted to get everyone trained and prepared and ready to move once we um, implement the check income program. So up to September 1st, we were still in the old system, correct? That the, well, which the treasurer was able to, to right. prepare and do everything right. else, right? Right. So it was a massive as a right. right. So, with that being said, since we don't have the uh, checking account implemented, we are asking the neighbor council to continue with the old funding program, which I'm going to go through right now, um, to submit demand warrants and use your P cards to make your um, incidental purchases. So, this training is for nothing? No. That, that has been implemented yet. It's to be implemented yet. It's, it's okay. So. But they want to the P card, correct? When we do this, when I'm reading by internal checking here. 
know, with paperwork, am I, say for example, the board, I asked the board to buy X, Y, Z, and they said, yeah, that's fine, go get my bar, go get it. What paperwork do I need to fill out? The funding there? request form? Uh, the funding request form. Okay. Right, it's in your packet. Right, it's in the packet. You package. need to complete that form, give it to the treasurer. Right. The treasurer will present it to the board to be agendized and voted on, discussion voted on. Before. Okay, so I do that. I do that sort of the same time in one fell swoop when I bring it to the board's attention. Out of the community or whatever. When I, I bring it to the board, I have all that paperwork submitted. It should already have been sent to during the executive committee, so I could have already forwarded it electronically so right. everybody okay. reviewed it, so okay. everybody has okay. a chance to. Yeah. What we're doing Correct. now. That'll be our the committee recommendation. So I'll be forming the committee recommendation to spend this much money. Nobody's talking, talking about all the forms should already be filled out electronically yeah. so all the board members can review it prior to the vote. and stuff. 